As you're tagging content within your research project, you might want to review exactly what has been tagged so far. The most obvious way to do this is by clicking on a tag. This takes you to the tag profile page where you can see all content where this tag has been used. This is a great way to view content tagged by individual tags. Userbit also provides you with a more convenient and flexible way of reviewing all tagged items within a project in the highlights section. Here, you can view all the tagged content together and use the filters on top to dig into or manage your highlighted content. The tag filter allows you to filter the highlights by individual tags or entire tag categories. You can also filter by research content. For example, if you only want to see highlights from interviews, then you can uncheck notes and surveys. You can also filter by highlight creator. This is especially useful if you're working on a project with multiple teammates. For example, if I wanted to only see highlights that I've created, I can do that here as well. Highlights section also allows you to download an affinity map of your highlights. Simply click on the export affinity map button and Userbit will generate an Excel workbook of all your tagged data. Each worksheet in the generated file represents a tag category. Within the sheet, each column represents a tag and lists the highlights within it. The colors of the highlighted text represent the colors assigned to the participant. The Highlights section also allows you to bulk move highlights between tags. To do this, turn the bulk mode on, select the highlights you want to move, then click on Move Highlights. Overall, the Highlights section provides a convenient way to review and manage what has been tagged within the project. In the next video, we'll talk about analytics.